Good evening, everyone. It's now 7 o'clock, so um, I'd like to call our meeting uh, to order. Um, I thought maybe we would have every seat filled tonight because of the heat. This is a place to get cooled down a little bit. So, um, the invocation this evening will be done by uh, Dennis King. So, Dennis. Okay, shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this day asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Fill us with your grace, Lord, as we make decisions that affect our Sandy Pines community and continue to remind us that all we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for uh, you, our Lord and Savior. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Dennis. Now we'll have the roll call by Kimberly. Alan Carpenter. Here. Rick Day. Nope. Brian Elling. Here. Jenny Hager. Here. Jim Huck. Here. Kelly Johnson. Here. Dennis King. Here. Chad Ostrom. Here. Don Benduzlar. Here. All present except one. Thank you, Kim. Item number four is the approval of the minutes of the regular session of June 21. Um, as I indicated in the, in the past, um, these minutes have been examined at the uh, work session uh, this previous Monday. Uh, there was no notations or changes that needed to be had. So um, one more time, if you had the opportunity to look at them again and you see something that is incorrect, Okay, then we need a motion to approve the minutes. So moved by Jim Huck and supported by Brian Elling. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Um, item number five with the approval of new park members. Uh, we have 21 new uh, members um, to be approved of this evening. Um, if I remember right, 38% um, of those um, are retired, 62% are still currently employed. So we need a um, motion to approve our new park members. Okay, moved by Dennis King and seconded by Jim Huck. Okay. Any comments by board members? Okay, I'll call the question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Um, executive personnel, uh, just a couple of comments. Just want to remind everybody at the face-to-face -face meeting uh, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. And also tomorrow at 11 o'clock we have Meet the Candidates. So um, that's an important meeting. I would encourage all of you to come to hear um, comments by those that are running um, for the board. There are five members and there are three open positions on the board. Also, I'd like to again emphasize and remind everybody of the um, general election in August, August 17. That's always an important election. That's of course when we elect new board members and we do have one change to the bylaws. It's two words. It's trust instrument. It's to clarify the language so that uh, when membership is transferred upon the death of um, one um, of them. Um, it basically just clarifies the language in the trust agreement. So we would certainly ask for your support for that. Um, then just an update on the um, search for park president. Um, the executive committee has interviewed three individuals thus far. Um, I think about a dozen or more have been screened uh, up until this point in time, and I know there's, uh, there's another one that um, is going to be screened um, next week. So, um, And our goal, of course, is still to uh, have this task accomplished by September 1. So let's move on to item number six, um, the finance, the approval of the May uh, financial statements for Sandy Pine Wilderness Trails. Um, Jenny, would you like to make some introductory comments? Um, is this on? Okay. 
The Finance Committee met last Thursday, July 11, and we reviewed the check distribution for Sandy Pines for the month of May, and we reviewed um, the financial statements for Sandy Pines for the month of May. Um, we, we go through every month and look at all the checks that have been written and discuss anything that we, questions that might come up, just clarifications or information. And uh, at the end of the review of both of those, the Finance Committee voted to approve the financial statements for the month of May. Um, we noted that we are in a very good financial position and I hear that at the end of June, it was even better. So um, this park is just in a wonderful financial position. And I think we have a, a great park president to attribute that to, along with a great staff and a CFO and, and board members. And I think um, they all should be commended for just doing such a great job with the renovations of the park, the finances of the park. We just couldn't be in a better position right now. Um, we also reviewed the check distribution for the golf course and the financial statements. And that, again, is for the month of May, which was a little slower than normal due to the wet month we had in May. Um, but even that being said, they're still in a great spot, and I know the month of June is even better. So Kimberly has a few things to go over, maybe some details and a little more uh, information regarding May. I'll start with the Sandy Pines Wilderness Trails um, financial statement review um, prior to that vote. Um, Sandy Pines um, continues to collect on its cash reserves to main maintain its operational expenses, especially in these more costly upcoming months. Administration is recognizing a slight decrease in advertising income to outside vendors. However, it has been offset with a positive increase in additional merchandise sales, specifically um, the hit with the new 2019 calendars. Our maintenance income is a little lower than previous years. However, our holding income is higher and covering the difference recognized there. Securities cost of goods sold is significantly lower. This is a result of a better resource used for wood sales this year. Security is also recognizing overall lower expenses with the exception of seminars, which remains the focus with additional training for our public safety officers. Our Schwab investments are picking up. This is recognized specifically in the financials within the interest, um, investment interest income. Our park and garden and the golf cart rental business are off to a great start. This is encouraging to see um, after the significant improvement to that retail building and the ease of flow that traffic has, provide, has been providing a better experience there. Retail is low, lower this month, and this is a current item we are focusing on. We've had a few issues with our gas pump as it's quite outdated um, and has restricted the public ac access to sales of the gasoline. Um, we're kind of looking forward to see what the decision will be with that. Um, d we're determining the cost to invest in an outdated system or try to replace that. Um, our sales is looking great early in the season, specifically with a nice increase in camping sales as well as our seasonal sites. And that is the comments for Sandy Pines. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, any comments on behalf of other board members? Okay, if not, I'll call for the question. We'll have a motion. Moved by Brian Elling and supported by Kelly Johnson. Okay, we'll have the roll call on that financials. Jim Huck, yes. Kelly Johnson, yes. Dennis King, yes. Chad Ostrom, yes. Don Vinduslar, yes. Alan Carpenter, yes. Rick Day absent, Brian Elling, yes. and Jenny Heger. Yes. All approved. Okay, next will be the uh, financial statements for the golf course. I have just a few comments for the golf course. Um, profits for the golf course are down, um, as Jenny mentioned as well, um, but overall not significant based on the challenging weather through the month of May. Forecasting forward with the good golfing weather ahead will allow us to finish the year with a positive increase, specifically given the current operational cost controls we have had there. 
Our weekend green fees specifically are up 70%. Member green fees are a little lower, um, about 20% lower. Food and merchandise is up with our, beer, with our beer sales down, which is more likely a trigger of the weather as well. Our fertilizer cost is a little higher. However, repairs and maintenance to the course is lower. So that, in our mind, we're maintaining, um, maintaining that without as many repairs and maintenance. Our advertising promotions is twice as high as last year as well. So all in all, both statements are encouraging. Thank you, Kim. Um, any comments by board members? Okay, we'll have a motion. Moved by Jenny, supported by um, Ellen. Okay, we'll have the roll call on that as well. Brian Elling. Jenny Hager, yes. Jim Huck, yes. Kelly Johnson, yes. Dennis King, yes. Chad Ostrom, yes. Don Van Duzlar, yes. and Alan Carpenter. Yes. Approved. Item number seven is the approval of the election commissioners, Donna Adams, Chuck Adams, and Diane Peck. So um, need a motion to approve um, the election commissioners. Moved by Jim Huck, supported by Brian Elling. Okay. Um, just want to thank those individuals. Donna, are you here? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so we need some more volunteers to help on the day of the election. So, willing to do so, um, leave your name uh, with, uh, with Donna. So, um, okay, all in favor of um, this motion for the election commissioners, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. That is carried. Item number eight is a resolution to approve rule book wording changes. Um, Kelly Johnson, you serve on that committee. Would you like to make some introductory uh, comments in regards to the changes that are proposed? Uh, sure. <clears throat> the Rural Committee um, met last week, and uh, again, they were quite busy. Um, what we're presenting today uh, um, as a resolution has to deal mainly with uh, sales and camping, <clears throat> part of the handbook. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually read this. The, the changes are, are really minimum, but I'll read it out. Sales and camping, which is under B, listing and selling your membership with the sales office, page 13, which is item 1B. What we're adding is a copy of the unit title that is required by the state of Michigan be kept on file at member services. And there was a, a couple incidents where not having that available um, caused a lot of additional work and it was recommended um, by our attorney that we look at that rule for possible changes. Um, the next portion is also on page 13 and all of these are the same thing. It's, it's just adding the language, a copy will be held on file at member services. So all new sales um, from now on will be required to have a copy of the title at member services. Page 14, selling your membership. Same thing, provide a copy when it's all said and done. Um, sales and camping, again, page 16, a copy of the title must be presented. And um, that's it on the sales and camping. So the board, it came to the board, the board is gonna vote on um, changing that language or adding that language. Under the permit addition, section two, site development, and regulations, page 33, it states currently under paragraph two, or under paragraph two, item number seven, after June 10th, any site found in violation will be issued a violation ticket, a list of Sandy Pines approved contractors, or you may clean it yourself, a copy of the cleanup sites rules, and a complete site violation checklist, and $100. What we're doing is removing some of the language 
because um, the uh, we feel that the contractors list is readily available. It's it, it's it's in the handbook, and it, it creates um, a lot, a ton of additional work on our, on our inspectors, and it's and it's redundant. It doesn't really need to be there. So what what we're going to vote on tonight is after June 10th, any site found in violation will be issued a violation ticket of $100 and a copy of, you'll be provided a copy of the site violation checklist. So each site will, will see exactly what you were written up for, if you were written up, and, <laughs> and what you need to do to correct it. Um, the next one, again, is under the permit addition, section three, requiring, items requiring permits. Uh, page 37J, roof over system item number four. And what this basically is doing is adding a couple more uh, products that you can use for that, uh, for that construction. So the, verb, or the word is going to be changed over the construction material may be wood or aluminum, which is there now, and we're adding metal or rubber. And then no fiberglass is still allowed. The last one is, again, under permits addition. Uh, permits requiring items requiring permits. Page 38, reshingling roofs requires a permit before the work can be done. What we're adding is the material to be used may be asphalt singles, wood shingles, metal, aluminum, or current material being used on the park model homes. So we're being more definitive of what, what, what products you're allowed to use. Okay, um, any comments on behalf of board members or questions? Okay. Kelly, would you read the resolution there and then we'll get a second. Be it resolved that the Board of Directors of Sandy Pines RV Resort does hereby approve the above resolutions. A board member will um, make a motion. Do I hear a motion? So moved by uh, Jenny and a second by Jim to approve the above, the above resolution, which will take effect of uh, October 1st, 2019. And a roll call. Okay. Oh, Alan, excuse me. Okay. okay. Any other comments on behalf of board members? Okay, then we'll ask for the roll call. Rick Day. Oh, absent. Brian Elling? Yes. Jenny Hager? Yes. Jim Huck? Yes. Kelly Johnson? Yes. Dennis King? Yes. Chad Ostrom? Yes. Don Van Dusler? Yes. Alan Carpenter? Yes. 8 0 approved. Okay, item number nine. Is anybody aware of any old business that must be dealt with at this time? Number 10, new, uh, new business to be brought. Okay, then number 11, we are up to member comments. So um, if you'd like to step up to the mic there and um, have some comments. You might also mention that uh, there's blueprints in the bag. Again. Okay, all right. Gene just reminded me that um, there are blueprints on the tables in the back um, of the North Shore building. So if you'd like to take a look at those, um, please do so. Okay. Um, who would like to be first for member comments? No comments. Okay. Last call. Quiet group tonight. Okay. Okay, then um, number 12. We are up to adjournment. So, we have a motion. Pardon? All right. Moved by Dennis, supported by... Chad to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Pull same sign. We are adjourned. Um.